Behind the Little Bird Pediatric, what we do here, so we care for two groups predominantly. Persons with special needs of all ages, so from birth till forever, and that includes individuals with mental and physical disabilities, and then also pediatrics. So there's a lot of different zones, so there's some zones that are more quiet, mm -hmm. some zones that are more active play, that'll kind of give you a tour around. And so everything here has got an action to reaction. So we know kind of one of the premises behind Snoozlin is that it's in the control of the individual. Right. And so everything that they do, they experience what they're being interacting with. And of course our bubble tube in there, it's got that gentle vibration feel. So we'll have a lot of patients that will either just stand here touching it. Yep. And then our highlight piece is a, you know, the Flake House sound shell chair where everyone of every age seems to be drawn to this chair where when you sit in it, it muffles out the sound from outside. Mm -hmm. So classically, when you go to hospitals or other kind of very busy medical centers, the waiting rooms are not that large, which can bring up a lot of inherent anxiety. And so even when we have Incredible. appointments that are like, say an hour long, mm -hmm. because we're doing forms and paperwork and all that kind of thing, the individual, no matter if they had the tendency before, to not even want to enter the hospital. Here, they, we give them a tour of the whole practice. They find the pieces and the places that are really comfortable for them, and they're happy. And so hallways are inherently anxiety provoking. So that's one of the things we know from research for years and years. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've placed them throughout, almost acting like breadcrumbs, so that you've got focal points to focus on. So when you're with a group, instead of saying, oh, let's walk down this hallway, you could say, oh, just go this far and focus on this and play with this and drag this. Oh, oh, there's another one. So some of the features that we have in here from a sensory perspective mm -hmm. is we have a, of course, your beanbag chair, which has a tactile kind of element sensation to it. Yeah. Another one of these little tactile mats for standing, sitting, interacting with. Right mobile cart and so this we can move around anywhere in the room the fiber optics that um, and the waterless bubble tube and these as you can see change colors and it links up when sensory magic is on which is what this is one of the probably the biggest flag house items that we have at the office yeah. is the sensory magic that links up audio and visual with various different themes mm -hmm. so we don't even have to have the individual see a traditional clinic at all, right. we can start off just by having them come in here and then make steps towards, if we need to, a more traditional setting. But for a lot of our patients, we can stay here and then the next room, which we'll kind of get into, this is a snooze lint treatment room. Yep. So patients, when they come in, this door would be closed if we know that, that they don't want to see a classic clinic environment. Very nice. Everything's tactile, so from squishy to kind of more prickly to you name it. We have a laser stars projector on the ceiling. Okay. And so in terms of this room, we can close the door, we can turn down the lights and really have it be, you know, very calming. So overall, the theme is in inclusivity really allowing for maximal choice and comfort and making this less about a medical appointment and more about feeling like you're cared for. Yeah. And uh, in, in our 10 weeks of being open, we've already seen that come to reality. And so I'm just so excited to see what the next you know, 20 years will have in store. Fantastic. Well, thank you again so much for the tour and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.